think that people develop a relationship with the city that they live in. They're they're very much a part of its of its reality, and and it's something that I don't think that people really think about or notice that much. How how crucial they are to the to the overall existence and, and energy. I, I think that that a large part of doing um, art on the streets is you kind of create personal landmarks. Some people see it when they just after they got fired. Some people see it after realizing that they just fell in love. People see it with their with their own baggage, and then that artwork becomes part of that specific moment. You know, all my work is kind of based on uh, observations of mine, uh, of of me and my surroundings and the surroundings themselves. Um, and, the, and the different types of uh, and forms and shapes of interaction that, that take place. I try to make my street work in a way that, that people can, that they can connect to it. I think that living in Israel in, in some way, you know, I don't consciously think about it, but I think that it, it um, <laughs> It's inseparable. Like the political situation, even though I don't, I don't really see myself as a political person in the traditional sense. You know, everything is. You know, I think that emotions are political. So in that sense, it is very present, I guess, in my work because it's just so much part of everyday reality. This show was kind of made. Um, specifically for the gallery. I knew the space before, and I thought of a few different concepts. I kind of planned it accordingly for it to be site-specific in that sense. My work is very narrative-based, so usually when I, when I install shows, I try to create some sort of narrative within the space, and it's not something that's necessarily premeditated. It's, uh, it kind of happens on the spot. Everything really only comes together as, as one body once I'm in the gallery and in the space. But it's definitely one of the parts that I enjoy the most. It creates a lot uh, more of a deeper understanding, I think, for me, of my own work and my pieces and my creative process. I feel like I'm not really presenting artwork now. It's not that I created uh, like a painting and I hang it on a wall for an exhibition. I want to create a, a situation. For the past few years, I've been dealing with the idea of patriotism. We're born into a very charged reality, charged by history, by heritage, by folklore. And we kind of adopt these ideas of being patriotic in this very natural and automatic way but it's totally by chance that people were born there. And I feel that that's something very peculiar. From there, I kind of went from using the image of a flag to using uh, images of, of walls, borders, and fences. But to perceive these images, not only in their original function, but to see them and examine them as emotional mechanisms to create parallels between political situations and emotional situations. The reality of, of a wall and of segregation is, is made up of so many small and minor human stories. I think that, that art is one of the only places where one can deal with issues in a very simplistic way. You know, I'm not trying to influence anybody or, or uh, try to change the way people think. I'm just suggesting observations of mine.